ended up needing to do three separate head swaps for this family. So this is my second one and I'm going to demonstrate how I head swap again. So completely different image. I'm going to select the two images in Lightroom. They're already edited. Do all of your editing first. And then I'm going to open these images in Photoshop. There they both are. So this is the image I want to keep. And this is the better smile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lasso. And just like I said the last time, you need to take as much data as you possibly can. So I'm going to pull halfway down his shirt, his arms, all the way around the little boy. Controller Command Copy C. I'm going to put it over on the other side. Controller Command C and R V. There's the paste. And then I'm going to go to multiply. I'm going to grab my little arrows and I'm going to move him in place. Control or command with spacebar zooms me in a bit so I can look a little bit closer at the head heights. Sometimes I step in or out and therefore we'll need to make the images a little bit bigger or smaller. This one looks like it needs to be just the tiniest bit bigger, which I might have just made it too big. That's really, really close. His ears just about lined up. The better lining up you can do in the overall image, the more likely you are to be successful without too much struggle. So. This one looks really close. Yeah, that's really close. So I'm going to let go of that image and I'm going to um, add the uh, layer mask. I'm going to go over to the paintbrush. Remember black means remove and white means add. I'm going to start with 100% opacity. I am going to use the bar on the mouse to make that a little bit smaller. I'm just going to work on a little bit smaller, removing grandpa here, removing grandma. So you see how that shoulders a different size there, or a different height? So we're going to have to kind of play with that a little bit, see where that kind of falls in. The shirt looks great. Got to go across this line right here, remove that. Grandpa doesn't need two collars. So we're just going to even all that out just a little bit. Make the wrinkles look uniform. Like there's not too many of them. Everything just kind of fits into place like it should. Not weird buttons. Let me make this a little bit smaller and zoom in some more. Make it smaller. And let's get rid of those extra buttons. Fixing his shirt. Ooh, we might have two chins. Okay, so when this happens, I um, have I press X, which gives me the white, so that way I can bring things back. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring back the buttons that I had originally. Yeah, and just kind of bring those wrinkles together right there, making that look just about where it was. I'm going to get rid of this extra wrinkle right here, adding a little bit of shade into there. Yep. Okay, there's a bit of a spot right here. Oh, we don't want that. So I'm going to get rid of that line right there for sure. Leave that collar on there. Let's see, which arm do I want to work with? I think I want to keep. Ooh, golly, let's see. Okay, so that's grandma's. So we have to be really careful. When this happens, this kind of area happens, sometimes you have to uh, either um, hold on, clone it, or you can use your magic eraser. I'll show you in just a second how to do that, but I'm going to make sure that everything else looks good with this image beforehand. Oh yeah, I've still got some more shirt work I need to do. Yeah, 
So let me finish with this really quick, make sure that I'm on the black to remove. And I'm just gonna make this big and like touch his shirt just a little. This smaller and bring those, get rid of those buttons, those extra buttons. Yep. Now we have this little piece right here that's keeping this looking from normal. That's about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten my, well, let me check one more time and zoom out. You know what? I wonder what it would look like keeping this bigger shoulder, this higher shoulder. Let me see what that would look like. Let's just check that out. But yeah, nope. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to flatten the image. So I'm going to come over here flatten. And I'm going to start with my brush. And this might not be what I'm looking for, but we're going to give it, give it a try. I use the bar tool to make that smaller. I'm going to come in here with the brush really close, but not on grandma's head. If this doesn't work, then I might just use the generative AI. Make sure that there's no random extra hairs in the way there. What we're looking for is green. We're not without choices. Okay, so that's closer. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to continue removing grandma's hair, but we're on the right track. So this needs to go down just a little bit further. Okay. Yep. Get rid of that little blurb of hair. And then this little piece right here. Oh yeah. That's really, really close. Okay. So at this point, we obviously, oh, look, I left a piece of that shirt. I'm going to have to go, I'll go back and show you how to fix that. Um, control zero. So at this point, you're, no one's going to be able to tell that that is not the way it should look. Now, to fix this piece of collar, you have a couple of choices because I missed it. Uh, you can go back in your history to where you flattened the image. Now, if you do go back to this layer, you're going to lose your removes and you'll have to start back over on that piece. So if it's really not that critical, you might just leave it or let's see if I can just for kicks and giggles. I wonder if I can take this tool, make this smaller. You're going to press alt, hold down alt for your selection when you're using uh, the, what do you call this? The clone, the clone tool. And now I'm just going to clone it away. Yep. Like it was never there. Okay. And then there's my completed image, um, which there was something I should have told you guys with fixing that shoulder. It should have been done on a second layer instead of this, original layer, but looks really great. Anyways, I'm going to file, save that. And that's going to pop that over into Lightroom here in just a second. You'll see it. My computer's slow. It likes to take a second. Go baby, go. Now, Lightroom. And then there's that image finished. So here's the before. And then there's the after. Let me show it like this. This is the after. There's the before. 